Welcome, Tootie. How may we be of service? Um, I recently got this computer, but I can't install Windows on it. Nor Linux. And I was wondering if I could get it fixed. Ah, okay. So what model is it? The manual says Sublac A. Interesting. I'm paging a specialist now. I'm Cornelius Creaturey, and I'm here to help you with your problems. Creaturey? Your first name is Cornelius? Yeah! I've actually just gone by my last name since middle school. I guess I just never got around to telling anyone here, though. Huh, I probably should have done that. So, where's the broken PC? Oh, I think I see your problem. This computer doesn't use a conventional processor architecture. It uses the Sublac architecture, so it needs to run this special operating system. The Sublac architecture? What's that? On pretty much all computers, things are accomplished by turning little switches called transistors on and off. A transistor that is on is called 1, while a transistor that is off is 0. The logic of how these transistors behave is controlled by one of these things, a processor. So, to make it so that humans are able to tell the processor what to do, people that are way smarter than I am developed assembly languages. For example, an Intel 32-bit processor uses some variant of the x86 assembly language. While assembly languages are very low level, they still have a lot of separate instructions, such as move, compare, and add. But what if assembly languages didn't have a large variety of instructions? What if there was an assembly language that only had one usable instruction? Then I assume the computer would be rendered... unusable? Well, Carl, that's where you're wrong! Introducing the One Instruction Set Computer, or WISC, and yes, that's how I'm going to be pronouncing it. A WISC is a theoretical computer whose assembly language only has one instruction. The particular WISC that we will be looking at in this video is Sublec, because that's what's in the title. Sublec stands for Subtract and Branch if Less Than or Equal To. The Sublec command takes in three locations in memory, A, B, and C. The value at A is subtracted from and stored into the value at B. If that ends up being less than or equal to zero, the execution of the program jumps to location C. Otherwise, it goes to the next instruction. So, if the sublec instruction was written in C, it would be this. So, if sublec is the only instruction that sublec supports, what's the point in writing sublec over and over and over again? Couldn't it just be implied? Yes! In fact, in most dialects of Sublec, it is just implied, so the code usually just ends up looking like a bunch of numbers. So, to prove that Sublec is usable, let's make a truth machine program. A truth machine program takes an input as either a 1 or a 0. If the input's a 1, it prints 1 indefinitely. But if the input's a 0, the program outputs a singular 0. First things first, I will be using Oleg Mazanka's dialect of Sublec. This dialect of Sublec supports labeled variables, which makes writing Sublec code so much easier. It also allows you to omit things that don't exist. For example, if you don't specify where to jump, it will just jump to the next instruction unconditionally. Anyway, the variables temp and input both start with the value 0. We also have a constant set to the value of negative 49 that will be used later. Input is received from register negative 1. That register is used for input when used in the first position, output when used in the second position, and halting the program when used in the third position. Since right now it's in the first position, input is taken in from the user, and it is subtracted into the variable labeled input. When getting input from register negative 1, the input is actually negated before it's subtracted into our variable. What this means is that input now contains the input as a positive ASCII value, either a positive 48 or a positive 49. Next, the input is subtracted out onto the screen by subtracting the input variable from register negative 1. Register negative 1 will then negate its contents and read the corresponding ASCII character onto the screen. So it will basically just print our input. After printing, the temp variable is set to 0. In Mazanka's sublec dialect, try saying that one time fast, a location in memory by itself implies subtracting it by itself and setting it to 0. Input is then subtracted into temp. Lastly, the negative 49 constant is subtracted from temp as well. Now, if our input was a 0, the result of these subtractions would be a positive number, but if our input was a 1, it would not be a positive number, so it would jump to the label loop. If the loop label is jumped to, the number, which would definitely be a 1, would be printed again, and the program would enter an infinite loop. There will be no escape. Of course, this is just the more readable, and by extension, more awful version of the code. You see, in order for the sublec runner to understand this, 
it must be assembled, which is just a fancy term for obfuscated! Now, the code has no more labeled variables and no more implied actions. It's just a list of numbers! Man, isn't it just nice and beautiful? Taking obfuscated code and making it more obfuscated. It's nice and soothing, isn't it? No, why do you like obfuscated code anyway? Especially obfuscated code that is just a more obfuscated version of something that was already obfuscated. Hmm, let's just say my brain works differently from yours. So, how far can you even get with a single instruction anyway? Wouldn't there be some kind of calculation that you could do that would just be plain impossible in Sublac? Actually, no. Sublac is Turing complete, which means that it can calculate anything that any normal computer is able to calculate. Come on, there's gotta be something Sublac can't do. Like, run an operating system. Yeah, I'd like to see someone write an operating system in Sublac. Well, introducing Dawn OS, the operating system written for Sublac. It was created because computers have gotten so needlessly complicated that, quote, opening a generic picture file now needs more complex algorithms than sending a rocket with persons to land on the moon. It sure is good that the person that is trying to send persons in a rocket now isn't the kind of person to overcomplicate things. But yeah, Dawn OS is a fully functional operating system designed for a sublet computer. It's pretty cool, and it even comes with a few games. But if you want to try out some sublet challenges yourself, you can try the game SIC1. In this game, you are instructed to program some tasks, such as adding two numbers together, in a special variant of sublet. My division program was shown to be the absolute least efficient division program in sublet possible. The game also has a leaderboard. Hey, that's me! Notice, though, nobody has actually completed all the challenges yet. Interesting. Maybe you can be the first. Anyway, if you want to try out Sublack yourself, links to Mazanku's Sublack compiler, DawnOS, and Sick one are in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!